Hi guys, welcome to this new fun video. I'm actually recording this right after recording my previous video. This video will be so exciting. In this video, I will take out my sewing supplies again and will make a very, very fun apron. And here's the twist. I don't have a pattern. I'll actually make it from scrap. But I have made this little thing on Procreate. A little sketch. I also have written notes for myself of how I want to do it. So I'll really hope that it will turn out okay. <laughs> but I'm really really scared to be honest because I also want to make this kind of a tutorial so you can also make the, the apron yourself at home. But am I qualified to make a tutorial? Not at all. I have only made like two uh, items before and I have made videos about them. So the first project I did was like a two-piece set that I really really like but it's way too small for me and then the second item I made was a corset which was so nice I also hand sew that corset and it turned out so good so if you're interested in that after this video you can watch those videos if you're interested in sewing content and making clothes and stuff like that on this channel I mainly post content about illustration, crocheting, making clothes and stuff like that, being crafty, studio vlogs, all kinds of things like that. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to this channel. So um, I also kind of want to hand sew this project. I know it takes up so much more time, but I really enjoy the process more because I can just sit on my sofa that way and just watch a movie or something like that and I can sew really comfortably <laughs> so I'm actually planning to hand sew everything so the supplies I will use I bought um, a base fabric which is a light pink I really like it a lot I don't really know what the fabric is I'm guessing it's just cotton then I also have a facing fabric I don't know if that's the right term but it's big term but it's basically the fabric that I will use on the insides and something that makes like supports the base fabric and for the facing fabric I chose this pretty cream color then I will also use this canvas fabric I actually already had this fabric before I wanted to do this project because I just love the pattern so much it's so pretty so now I can finally use that fabric I will also use bias tape I bought a cream bias tape, I will also use elastic and I bought a really cute ribbon that I will use on the edges to give it like a really nice detail and then of course I'll also use thread, scissors and a measurement tool and I'm guessing I'll also use some kind of paper to draft out the pattern for myself. I don't think I'll just cut into the fabric without any reference so I'll probably also use paper now here's a disclaimer for the tutorial part of this video if you want to make this apron I would recommend to first watch the whole video before you start because maybe if I make the apron like afterwards I have some remarks about how I could do it better Hello guys, so I'm totally ready to start on the apron today. I still have to do some stuff though. I know I looked a lot prettier yesterday. That's because I almost only wear <laughs> makeup when I film my intros to trick my viewers into thinking I'm a lot more beautiful than I actually am. And then for the rest of the video you see me how I actually look like most of the time. <laughs> So I actually wanted to go to the hobby shop first because I want to buy some pinking shears. I saw those in a lot of videos and apparently when you use the pinking shears on the borders of your fabric, they are less likely to unravel and maybe also buy some new thread. I have this very cute box for all my sewing supplies, by the way. Today I want to start working on the skirt portion of the apron because I think that will be a bit more easier compared to like the heart. I have this skirt here, which fits me very well and I want to use it to measure like the length. It actually was very nice weather that day. I was very confused because it was 5 degrees, but it felt more like 15 degrees when you were in the sun. So that was very confusing, but I loved it a lot. I bought some thread. The colors were kind of limited though. And then I went to another store because they didn't have the pinking shirts at the first shop. 
and in that fabric store I found some really really cute buttons and then I got my pinking shears but whoa they are so expensive <laughs> having a hobby is literally like really really expensive <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen floor. I'm going to start with cutting out a rectangle out of this pink fabric. How I will do it is I'll take this skirt and I'll measure the widest point and then use that reference as a width for the rectangle skirt. turn out more looking like squares so now that I have these two squares I will first sew them together at the sides with the fabric inside out but I don't really think there is an inside and outside on this fabric so it doesn't really matter that's already a very good start isn't it how did I cut it like lopsided I guess it's a lot more difficult to make mistakes than I thought but okay okay that's a lot better it's actually a complete square now so it's not a rectangle anymore but let's sew down this side I'm now almost at the top of one side but I think I will just continue sewing at the top as well but when I sew at the top I will incorporate an elastic so I will measure the elastic to be a little bit smaller than the width of my waist and then I will just keep sewing this way but sew in the elastic so that it's at the top it's a bit more cinched in this is how the top looks with the elastic pinned onto it and then I will just sew it on Mona is being a great backdrop today <laughs> This is what I have now. This is how it looks on this side. This is the other side. So let's turn it inside out now and hope that it looks kind of decent. I'm a bit scared. I would say it looks fine. That's kind of cute actually. It will look like this. The next thing I will do is I also need to make some um, ribbons to go on the side so that you can tie it in the back and then I will also add pockets but I think I'll make the pockets tomorrow and on the bottom of the of the skirt I actually want to make some frilly details but that will also take a while because I want to make like a really long strip of fabric add this cute ribbon accent to it and then bunch up like the strip of fabric and attach it to the bottom so that it's like wavy if you get what I mean. So yeah, I'm very happy with what I've got so far. <laughs> so now I have this really long strip of fabric. I think the first thing I'll do is... is to sew down the sides like this and then eventually I'll attach the ribbon to the bottom and then I'll attach this frilly fabric to the top of my skirt but I'm thinking to maybe add this on the bottom of my skirt first to add some more layers this is how things start looking like when I do a craft project very nice and Mona is sitting on my fabric
Let's do the straps now at the side to tie it around me. So I will have to do some measurements and then cut out some more strips and then sew the strips together. The pink side and the cream side. It will look so cute. And that is it for today. I just want to do the straps and tomorrow I'll do the pockets. Hi guys, so I finished what I wanted to do yesterday just in time for bed. This is what I have. I do have a few things that I don't really like that much and they all have to do with hand sewing and no, they're not the fact that I've been poking myself for like a thousand times and it was very painful. One thing is that I don't really like that much that you can see my hand sewn stitches on this bias tape it looks kind of ugly but i guess if you look from afar you can't see it and then another thing but that's also not really that visible but if you really tuck at the fabric you can see my stitches i think because i didn't do enough stitches I did them too far apart. I don't know if you can see it, if my camera wants to focus. Um, so you can't really see it if I'm just wearing it, but it was bothering me. <laughs> oh, and another thing that I don't really like is when I am wearing it and I turn around, you can see the back and the back isn't that beautiful. <laughs> so if you want to make it yourself and you want the back to be beautiful when you're wearing it, maybe consider this. Because yeah, it's not that beautiful. It's not super ugly, but yeah. Yesterday I worked on this for I think eight hours. And even if it's like, oh, I work eight hours every day. But for me, that was a very long time to work on something on one day. So today I want to work on the pockets. I have about three hours, I think, because I have a, a meeting um, in the afternoon. I want to do the pockets and how I will do it is I will first take some paper and I will trace out the shape of the pocket. I hope I have paper though. Where did I put my paper? I'm looking at my printer and I can't see any paper. Then I will use that as a stencil, as a reference for my canvas fabric to cut out the shape. When I have the canvas fabric, I will then use my bias tape to go around it. And at the same time, when I attach the bias tape to the canvas fabric, I'm going to attach the piece of fabric here and leave an opening here. I hope that was clear, but you'll probably see what it will look like when it's done. I was kind of doubting in between pockets that go like this but I think I will just put them at the side. I'll see, I hope it turns out nice. I don't really know if I like the shape that much, but I think this will be fine. So let's cut out the fabric. Hi guys, it's now Monday, but today I will not work on my apron because there's a lot going on actually. So this probably this video will probably not be published on Friday as I wanted to, but maybe like a few days or a week later. 
it's now the next day. I, we just went to the fitness, so that's why my hair is wet because I washed it. It's actually 9 p.m. now, but I did nothing all day. Well, I went to therapy this morning. It was my last therapy session. But now it's 9 p.m. and I suddenly want to work on the apron because it has been a few days since I've done something for the apron. And I'm going to explain to you how I will do the heart part of the apron, so the top part because the skirt part is finished. <laughs> so what I have done is I got some paper, two A4 paper sheets, and I pasted them together and I made this heart shape. And I will use this heart shape to cut out a heart shape out of the pink fabric and also the cream facing fabric. Then I will sew those two sides together, but not inside out just the outsides facing the other side. Then I will add the bias tape to the side so that the sides don't unravel. And then I will go over it again with my sewing needle to attach a long ribbon, the same one like I created on the skirt, I'll show you. I'll also uh, attach something like this to the bias tape to the heart. And that's our the those are the first steps because I also want to add the canvas fabric as a pocket, but I guess you'll just see. Hi guys, I actually don't know when the last time was that I filmed for this project. I also think the last time I filmed myself my hair was wet as well. I have to say I am very emotionally in a bad place but it's now late in the evening and I want to do something instead of just crying. So I'm going to show you what I've done. I did a lot a lot of camera I'm a, and I'm so sorry I didn't film a lot, but I just don't really feel like it. And I want to get this project done on time, although there's not really a deadline, but I just want to get a new video out. Uh, <laughs> this is what I have. Um, I hate it, but I will explain why and what I will do about it. First of all, Evert said he didn't really see a heart in this, but now that I'm seeing it in a viewfinder, it does kind of look like a heart. And also the canvas fabric that I will place on here, which will also be a pocket, I will make it a bit more like a heart shape. I don't know what this side is. I wanted it to be very like frilly and cute, but it doesn't look like it at all. So what I will do now is I'll take this ribbon part and I'll probably put it a little bit closer to the heart maybe a bit like this it isn't attached now it's just together with some pins hi guys I really hope today is the last day I'll be working on this apron because to be honest I'm so tired of it I just want it to be done. I'm not that happy with it, but I guess it's because if you look too close at it, you can really see it's not that well done. I'm kind of regretting not using my sewing machine, but I did the heart the other day and it looks kind of cute. What I still need to do is the canvas heart, which will be a pocket and then the straps to tie it around my neck. So those are the two things I have to do and oh, also attach this part to the bottom part as well. What I will do now is cut out all the fabric pieces, so the canvas heart and all the parts for the straps for around my shoulders. And then I will start sewing them together. For the canvas heart I will use more bias tape at the side. I just bought this the other day and now I can finally finish it. So the canvas heart will have a bias taped edge and then I will sew it onto the big heart part 
on the sides and leave an opening at the top so that I could put, can put stuff in it. But I really hope this apron turns out to be cute because at the moment I'm not really thinking I will wear it that much because, you know, maybe it looks cute from afar, but you can really see the individual stitches. So I got <clears throat> these strokes of fabric for this. In case you're wondering what the measurements are, I just simply did something. I didn't even measure it <laughs> because I kind of did the same with the straps for around my waist and it turned out all right. So I just kind of did the same for the straps around my neck. And this is a cute heart that will be a pocket. I will probably start with this heart. So some bias tape around the edges, then sew it to the heart and then I'll probably do the straps. So let's start sewing. When I sew it on the background heart, I'll sew down the inside of the bias tape so it will look a lot better. I also finished one of the straps. I'm going to turn it inside out right now. strip actually a strap now I still have to do the other one but first I'll have dinner guys it looks kind of cute this is the top part I just sewed it all together so now the only thing left to do is to sew on the straps and then sew it to the bottom part and then I will do a reveal so I guess in like five seconds you'll see the reveal <laughs> guys are you ready for the final reveal Ta -da! Ta -da! okay it does look quite cute actually I don't think I will ever wear this out actually mainly just how it's finished it's not that well done but that's more something that I did wrong so if you want to make this yourself you just know what not to do because I did everything by hand and it just looks very sloppy it is very cute though I really like how it turned out it has puppets and in the back it has this ribbon yeah it's just very cute guys I'm going to keep it at that because I just want this video to be over with I hope you really enjoyed though although it was very much for me to do and I will probably not sew for like a few months or so or so <laughs> if you did enjoy the video please let me know by liking commenting and subscribing Please let, you, let me know what you think of this apron. And yes, I should have ironed it, but it's almost time for me to go to bed. And don't forget to check out my other videos as well. If you're into creative content, I mainly do illustration, but I also do crochet content and other things. So check out my other videos as well if you'd like. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a great day or night. Bye bye.